about your records and big numbers Cause I was up top seven winners in six summers Cuffed all on that bus, lock me all the way down Now I'm all the way up Welcome to my channel, if this is your first time watching me If you are up and back for some more, welcome honey I'm so hot in my um in this but I ain't got no clothes on and I'm in my bed that's why this right here is showing like this this is literally my headboard my headboard is my backdrop today I just off the whim was like let me do this story time about how, uh, um about the time I got arrested because I mentioned it in the story time before and I recorded it when I went to edit it it was pieces missing I don't know I don't know how I be losing footage but anywho that ain't important first off I feel like I feel like this robe is a mink fur, honey. You cannot tell me this ain't no P. Diddy mink coat, honey. Look at this. Yes. Anywho, let me get into this little story. This past my bedtime, the setup I got right here on my bed, like, it's a whole fucking mess. So, let me just, let me just get right into this little story. The story begins on a nice little April day of my senior year in high school. I'm 18. And I take a trip to the mall with my cousin who was 17 at the time and a friend from high school who was, who had just, it was literally her birthday. She had just turned 18 that day. So we decided we was going to take this cute little trip to the mall together. And when we get in there, everything is good. You know, we going through the stores, me and my cousin pretty much window shopping because we didn't work in high school. We just, you know, we just, I don't know where we got money from because we weren't broke, but we neither here nor there okay so we in the mall we had dillard's in the clothing section of dillard's you know it's a little i know in the dillard's out here it's a little like what the fuck is the word i'm looking for cluttered it's cluttered as fuck so a little home girl kept disappearing on our ass and we really weren't noticing at the beginning because we'd be so like we we used to be really close so we we was right here just talking to each other really and we noticed like after a while homegirl kept disappearing on us and she would just literally pop back up like we would see her picking up stuff and then she would disappear for a second and she would pop up empty-handed like did you just did you just put all of it back? After Dillard's, we left and went to like some of the small little hood ratchet boutiques. Forever 21, Charlotte Rules, Wet Seal was popping at the time. And we went to Wet Seal and that's when we noticed that Homegirl was, was stealing. She was shoplifting. She was picking up shit dropping it in her little bag, right? We see on her like slide like little pieces of jewelry and shit in her bag and she is walking up out this bitch it was like a scene from oceans 11 her ass was going in doing what she came to do and then she was out nobody was saying nothing to her she wasn't getting caught i didn't even see nobody giving her like the, the, the suspicions of stink eye nothing at that point me and my cousin were like well damn is it that is it that easy to steal like why are we going store to store spending our little coins when we could just be taking this shit for free like is it a free for all the next door we decided like dummies that we were gonna try to get some little items ourselves we was gonna try to steal something and we were so damn scary we both end up stealing like a little ass pack of three dollar and fifty cent earrings from like charlotte rules like it was the cheapest little shit that we decided to get but we was like now nah, we're gonna get these little street creds it count we we stole so we grabbed them little things and dropped them in our bag and we were about to leave the mall but she decided she wanted to make one more stop or run or whatever she want to call it whatever you want to call it to macy's and we get to macy's and she's like i'm getting this bag from macy's and i'm like bitch are you serious like a bag like that's kind of big compared to the, the shit that we saw you grab <laughs> shut up though so she's like i'm gonna go in macy's and grab this bag and we done we out she goes in macy's she literally picks up the purse now mind you at this time she hands me her purse the one she was stealing with up to this point so it wouldn't look so she wouldn't look so crazy and suspicious holding two bags in Macy's or walking out with two purses. So I'm holding her purse and she goes for the Macy's bag. She picks up the biggest fucking bag and it was cute or whatever. 
it was cute i give her that but she did not stop there she was like do y'all want anything and we like no nah, we ain't gonna get nothing and she like don't be scared y'all ain't gotta just tell me just tell me what you want i get it child we started walking around the store we started walking around the store picking out stuff that we want out. We was like, ooh, I want that right there. And my cousin was like, I want that right there. And I was like, ooh, I want that right there. And we got so fucking comfortable that we just started picking up stuff to give to her to put in this bag. Like, she had the stolen bag and she was putting stolen shit inside the stolen... What did my eyes just do? Inside the stolen bag. At that point... I really got this little tingling in my spirit that just was like, y'all just too bold. Like, this this ain't gonna go. Like, I don't know about this. And I should have listened to that and told her to just drop that shit and let's go. But no, nah, I ain't say nothing. I just decided, all right, I ain't telling her nothing else. Like, I handed her a wallet. I was like, I want this wallet. And she wasn't even real discreet about throwing it in her bag. She just threw it in there and I was just like, yeah. Yeah, I'm done. Excuse my dog. My puppy is crying in the background because I'm a bad mother and it's past his bedtime and he wants to go to bed. But instead of me putting him to bed like a, a good pet parent, I'm ignoring the fuck out of him. Lay on my floor and cry. Really, he could go in there to his own bed himself, but he refuses to, to go to bed on his own. Like, I got to do the whole nine. I got to get his teddy bear, grab him up. Put him in his bed and then he'll let down and go to sleep but he will not walk to this damn bed himself hold on okay i had to go put my baby to bed i'm a mother first we walked around macy's a little bit longer just you know browsing killing time trying to blend in with the regular other shoppers other regular shoppers shit we was regular too kind of we finally decide okay yeah let's just go for the dough now my high school friend walked ahead of us a little bit and me and my cousin were a couple like a couple steps behind her to the point where you wouldn't if you wouldn't know we were together really honestly and i don't know why she was walking so fast i don't know she was trying to hurry up and get the fuck on down she had all this gold all them stolen goods on her or what but she was <laughs> A, a couple of feet ahead of us she actually got out into the mall and as we got our little tippy toes right to the little line of Macy's flooring I see a man go after her and he's like hey hey and we're like shit we try to keep walking try to little what's go are you guys are you girls with her and I'm like and she was like I need you to come with me child I started just say I don't know her, but I I I wanna I ain't wanna I ain't wanna do it like that because we still had to go to school together for a couple more months. And I mean, I'm a I'm a loyal little friend. So anywho, they get us all together, take us upstairs, and then they separate us immediately, like some off a damn movie. Like, why y'all separating us? In the room I was in, the the lady was pretty much like, We saw you guys still and we have alerted the police. All of this and I'm just like hold up I wasn't stealing I wasn't stealing because technically I hadn't thrown nothing in my bag at all I just pointed to a couple things and she put them in her bag and then I may have picked up a couple things and then she took them from me and threw them in the bag like but I had not picked up anything and thrown it in my own little bag but anywho anyway it didn't take no time really for the police to come once the police came they um Spoke to the little Macy's people, workers, whatever, loss prevention. They they let us know that we was banned from all Macy's for two years. How they gonna know though? Because I'm pretty sure I went back in Macy's before them two years was up. Not to steal. To make purchases. But like how how they know? How 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 you gonna tell me I'm banned from all the Macy's? Macy's. All the Macy's. I thought they were going to put my little picture up on all the Macy's walls. Like, I really did think that because they were just like, you can't go in any Macy's. And I'm like, shit, how else would they know? You know, what the fuck is this little piece of hair on? How else would they know that um, we ain't allowed in? They give me like a carbon copy, a pink slip of paper where they wrote down notes. And when we left, we compared our little papers. And they really wrote down like the same items on each of ours, which... They took the purse that she stole from her and all the shit in it. I was carrying her bag she started out with. So they were like, what, what, let us know what, how much of this stuff was already yours and how much, because some of the stuff she had taken tags off of. So they were like, what was already in the bag and what wasn't. And I'm like, I don't fucking know. 
So they end up taking everything out the little bag. Shit, I ain't know what to say. I'm so sorry, girl. If you had some real personal belongings in that bag, but hey, try to install from you and install from them. Y'all even, as far as I'm concerned. Why is this hair really just wanting to try me today? The police, um, yeah, the police just let us know we had court dates and we were on our merry way. My cousin, she, because she was 17, they like sent her stuff to juvenile court, which we later found out they didn't even send it to juvenile court because she called trying to check on it and they were like, girl, what you talking about? What? What are you talking about? Like, she was, she was good. She, she learned early on that she was good. So, I get home and I tell my mother the story, but I tweak it a bit because I don't to get my ass beat so I didn't tell her that I really had joined in on the little stealing I just was like mom look we was at the mall with a friend that was stealing and the police um grabbed us all and they wrote the same stuff on all our slips like we were all stealing and she was able to compare mine to my cousin so she believed it like they wrote the same stuff on all our slips she got me a lawyer. Now, I know at this point you're probably thinking, didn't this bitch say she got arrested? Like, when did she get arrested? At my little, my hearing. On my court date, the judge read off my name and was like, arrest date, so and so. And I'm like, hold the press. No, I didn't get arrested. And she was like, yeah, you were arrested. And I'm like, no, they didn't put the cuffs on me. Like, I didn't get a ride in the squad car. I wasn't arrested. She was like, sweetheart, you were arrested on paper I'm like I didn't even know they could arrest you on paper but I'm so glad they did because imagine how embarrassing it would have been for me to be hauled out the side of Macy's in handcuffs like I'm too cute for that like I'm so glad they didn't put the cuffs on me but a little piece of me wanted them little two street credits so I can be like yeah you know so I can thug it out in the back of a squad car but if I had to vote I voted went down the way it did. So technically, yes, I was arrested, but on paper, I wasn't hit with the handcuffs, not by a police officer. In like the hallway of the court, my mother is talking to the lawyer and she just going in, honey, because he wanted me to plead guilty. And she was like, I ain't having it. I'm not having it. And then my friend from high school had the same little court days. She comes walking up to speak and say hello. And my mama's still going off. She like, she was with some little girl from high school. Some little friend of hers was stealing. That girl was stealing. She needs to come in here and tell the judge. We need to have her come up here and tell the judge that it was all her. And they can drop this off my child. And my friend just sitting there looking like, bitch, what? Like, is that what you told? And I'm looking at her like, girl, you ain't, she ain't got to know you the friend. Like, just, just chill, you know? So my lawyer pretty much was like, plead guilty. And my mama was like, a damn lie. She not pleading guilty because she didn't do it. And I'm like, I sure didn't do it. He was like, as if I'm not even standing there. I know you want to believe your daughter. She probably did do this and is afraid to tell you. So she needs to plead guilty and just take I think community service and then we can get it expunged off of her record and my mother was like uh uh nope we not pleading guilty for something we didn't do and then I was like you know what like I don't mind doing a little community service I'm in high school it'll look good on my college application like I don't have to say what it's for I can just say that I did community service and I'm about to leave for school in a couple months I don't want when I have to come back here from school like and be still dealing with this throughout the semester and all the stress of being a, a college student on top of this. And so my mama was like, okay, fine. And that's what I ended up doing. Pleading guilty, doing a community service, getting it expunged. And yeah, we never had no issues like that again. No. That's pretty much all there is to the story of how I got arrested. I was a criminal, a smooth criminal, a not so smooth criminal. Anywho, do not, if you're listening to this, don't be like me. Don't make the mistakes I made in the past. It ain't even worth it. Like, don't, 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 don't follow down. Girl, I think I look cute. Don't make the mistakes I made and the bad decisions that I made as a young, young, young girl. Like, learn from my mistakes. Don't be me. Don't be the me in 2007. You could be the me. 
2017 because I'm lit. Child lit like a Christmas tree, okay? That is it for this little video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. The little notification button so you can be notified when I upload. Like, comment, share, all of that jazz. And I will see you. What is, what is this? What is this? I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I am thirsty. First, pink Diddy. Pink Diddy. I feel like I'm about to go on stage with Lil' Kim, <sighs> See, I need to be asleep. I'm bullshitting. Bullshitting.